Hey, welcome back folks, another day in lockdown on Sling Mountain. I'm like fired, like what you don't see in these videos is like me doing my little pre-warm up, have a little bit of a sing, come and dance with the dog. Come here boy, hey, up. So he has his little giraffe, where's he giraffe? And we do a little, it just gets me, instead of being sat around with no energy, it gets me uh, my voice working and a bit of blood pumping, so I'm psyched to do the video. What's probably more exciting for viewers is watching him jumping around than me. Maybe I should just do dog videos. I reckon I get more hits and stuff. I'm doing pretty well it, from my point of view and, and getting loads of traffic. So thanks very much for watching, for liking, for subscribing and all that. But if I could just get a dog video to go viral, get him doing something funny, I'd make my millions and I'd retire. Obviously, that's not going to happen. But anyway, today's video, this is going to be a shorter one. The last couple have been long. Oh feel tired just thinking about how long they were so if you did watch them many thanks um, remember Sling Mountain t-shirts sold 20 t-shirts you believe that 20 t-shirts I said in another video I was expecting three or four so 20 t-shirts well sight to that but I've ordered myself a funny one as well uh, I'll, I'll wear that when it comes in a few days or so see if you like that one the scrambling stuff yeah that was long wasn't it today's one short why do climbers not like metal on metal? You hear that so much, don't you? I've been guilty of saying it a lot of times as well. So I'm gonna rattle through a few things with no chat whatsoever. I'm gonna do like a fastish edit, which will take me flipping ages, right? I'm well slow at that. Um, and then we'll just have a quick chat afterwards about the whys and wherefores and what have you. So just settle in, watch this few minute thing. Oh, it's not even gonna be a few minutes, a like minute, two minutes, I don't know. Uh, and then we'll have a little chat afterwards. There you go folks, a little montage of a few times when we do actually put metal on metal. It is a bit like that I before E except after C kind of rule, isn't it? Where, yeah, okay, maybe it forms a good uh, sort of basis for ideas, but there's so many exceptions, aren't there? I do think actually maybe with metal on metal in climbing, there's more exceptions to the rule than there are things that fall under the rule. So I'm definitely gonna consider how I teach things, because I've certainly been guilty of you know, when someone asks how to do something or you know, can I do it this way, say, oh, we don't really like metal on metal. Maybe that's just a bit of a cop-out thing to say. So I'm gonna give that some thought myself. These videos are great for me. Hopefully they've been useful for you guys as well, but they've certainly made me think about a few things, that's for sure. So we covered loads of stuff there, didn't we? From using that as a PowerPoint to you know, metal on metal in the hoist for the clutch prosic. Um, even got the ice screw out just for the sake of it, really. I haven't picked up that ice screw in years, so I thought it may as well come off the shelf for a moment. Greek reaction, that's metal on metal, isn't it? You clip a nut with a, a quick draw, you clip a bolt with a quick draw. Um, I don't know how well you'll see that uh, on the camera, if it'll focus fast enough for it to be worthwhile, but in the top of these, they get a bit of, war, uh, sort of, a bit of wear on bolts because of falling off and just generally being knocked around and stuff. Pretty sharp, a lot of them, in the whole scheme of things. So it, it, it does give us some considerations, doesn't it? 
these have got like little nicks out of them and just they're not too bad actually but you know a bit rough i'd rather they weren't on the rope so we keep a, a one side for the the gear the bolt or the nut and we have one side that stays nice and smooth that's purely for the rope so it doesn't get damaged if and when you're falling off or just dragging ropes through quick draws right once upon a time funnily enough uh, they didn't exist so people were clipping bits of gear and Instead of putting a quick draw on, uh, they just put a snap gate on. Rope would go in that. If they wanted to extend it, they might put two or three uh, snap gates on there. They would have been solid ones back in those days. Safe, isn't it? Yes, it is kind of safe like that, but the twisting is the problem, isn't it, right? You can see what's going to happen. As soon as they twist, in a fall perhaps, there is a chance of that happening. And that, that did happen at some points, uh, sometimes. So. You know, that's why quick draws are invented. They're a much better way of doing it, aren't they? So we don't do that anymore. So there's a reason not to put metal on metal. Or is it actually just a reason not to clip snap gates to snap gates? I've said in previous videos about me and my monster full sport climbing and I was stick clipping. That was because of you know, a snap gate kind of thing. Twisting, we don't like twisting in, in this kind of application. So it's just something to be aware of, isn't it really? What we do still do, not really in a personal climbing sense, more in a work sense, you know, taster sessions with groups of kids or stag groups or whoever, um, use these figure of eight kind of things still. And again, it's kind of metal on metal, that's okay, right? That sits fine, but what about if they twist? Well, actually, it, it could twist onto the gate, couldn't it, and, and pull like that, and the gate's the weakest part of the carabiner. So am I gonna stop doing metal on metal? No, I'm not, right? but it, it does give you some food for thought, doesn't it, right? And I guess that's the key to this little video, that I'm sure there's other times we don't do metal on metal and the times we do do metal on metal, right? Uh, just have a little think about it, chuck it in the comments as always, if you can think of anything that's worth pointing out. Uh, you might say when you, you link two nuts together with a little lark's foot thing, getting even niche by my standards there as well. Um, but yeah, just, just food for thought really this one. A nice quick video I hope. Whoa, the, the relief, the joy from you lot. Uh, at JV Mountain Skills doing a brief video. I might put an explosion thing in there somewhere. I probably will. Uh, this one's gonna take a while to edit because of those quick fire bits that, um, yeah, they, they actually will take a bit of work from me to make them look half decent. You know the score though, folks. Do fire away with questions and comments and all that. Find us on Insta, find us on Facebook. We're nearly a thousand subscribers, right? That honestly is blowing my mind um, that we've had that much uh, interaction and stuff. So I'm massively appreciative of that. Thank you very much. So while you're there, if you haven't already, click that like button, click the subscribe button, it, it's ace. Uh, remember there's some t-shirts available as well. We've sold 20 t-shirts, who would believe that, eh? I was expecting three or four tops. 20 t-shirts, amazing. Don't make a lot of money on them, they cost quite a lot to print, so uh, every little helps though. So thanks if you've bought one, they're, they're, they have been ordered, so they're in, in the process of being delivered to you and all that, they'll take a few days. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. More videos coming up very soon. Mm -hmm.